what's going on guys Tolani and welcome to content strategies where we help you with tips tools and strategies to build your online presence with videos in today's video what we're going to be looking into is how to solve node video editor app problems in just a minute but before we jump start please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet already please we give weekly tips tools and strategies to build your online presence with videos just like this so without further saying let's jump into the video for those that didn't know what node video editor app is node video editor app is absolutely the most powerful of all video editing apps for smartphone in 20th century that does any editing same as premiere pro and after effects will approach it has many revolutionary features to create amazing effects you never imagine here are the solutions to the problems we might be facing in one way or the other of using this app the number one problem we might be facing is problems in video playback issue how can we solve this when we import videos to the when we import our footage into the composition layer here right here and we when we play it we see this video is not playing in its right timeline it, it's like skipping the way we can solve this is that first thing we have to know is that this app is an amazing app it gives us more options to, work, to be able to navigate and what twist our videos to our taste so what we're going to be doing is you need to know your previous setting is corresponding with what the app program so now you're going to set your program setting before you import any videos into the composition layer to avoid this issue sometimes depend on the cpu of the phone you are running if you have this issue after you set this after you set your project settings to normal resolution which is the full hd 9 19 20 then 1080p 1080p then your frame rate should be 24 or you might leave it at 30 depending on your on your territory then a preview resolution you should leave it at 25 so it won't have any issue with the app so you need to leave the preview resolution likewise the current layer you can leave that for now but what we are after is how to solve this playback issue so when i play this video right now so when i play the video back now you can see it's still showing that this video is still like having issue with the playback so the next thing you have to do is, after you've said this and you are still experiencing this issue of not getting the playback in its right timeline is to click on the video itself click on the three line above it then go to order then hit on prefetch this prefetch will help you boost the preview level of the video so you can as well so you can able to what edit more so what you're gonna be clicking is load so you're gonna load this prefetch to give the to boost the videos so you can have your best experience while while editing you can read more on the parameter up there that's talking about this prefetch so then hit on finish then save so when i come back now you see how smooth the video is going to be playing can you see let me show you so you can see that in the timeline this is how to solve this problem if you are facing this problem of import playback issue this is how you can solve it then you can then continue editing your video another problem we're going to be looking is video exporting issue with low resolution a lot of people complain about this app that whenever they want to import a video after importing it there is a drop in the resolution of the videos so this is how you can as well fix that you're gonna hit on the exports icon at the bottom of the video then before you click on the export button you need to set your resolution because the app has a default resolution of hg not the full hg resolution so if you export your video with this default settings you have you're gonna be having this low resolution as your output so you want to make sure that you increase the the resolution to the full hd which is 1920 by by 1080p the next thing you have to note is that your frame rate should correspond with what the frame rate in which you used to edit and the frame rate you, you use as well towards 
to shoot the video so i'm gonna be leaving because i because my footage is in 30 frame i show the video in 30 frame then i i edit it in 30 frame as well then i need to export it in 30 frame but in most in some cases where you need to slow things down just know that you have to what you have to make your frame rate correspond with what the shooting frame rate then the quality you need to you need to set the quality to what to the highest quality you don't want it to be low because if you are setting it to low you, got, you, you don't have that low resolution as a final output so you make it high so you can get best results so then you can hit the board the green play the green play button that says export then your video will continue export so when you export you see that that high quality resolution which you, you prefer to have which everybody prefer to have so that's how you can solve that issue as well then the next issue that we're going to be looking into is the issue with video sound muted some of us have this issue about the audio that when they are playing the videos that the the audio lost in the in the playback the reason why this happen is that you have to check your phone if it's not on the what if it's not on the loop you have to make sure it's high and as well after you checking that this is high and you are still seeing this issue you need to come down to this icon that says audio click on the audio then you want to make sure that this volume is turned to 100 percent you understand you can as well increase it but at least make sure it's 100 so then that's all for the problem definitely when you play your video you're gonna have that voice and any other sound you want to play so that's how the problem is being solved the next one we're gonna be looking is issue of only a single layer that is playing yes a lot of us have issue of this that when we import so many footage into the composition layer and we feel like this layer is not playing it's only playing that this layer is only playing one layer it's not playing all of this all of the layer we, we import maybe you have one or two layer in the in the composition the reason why it's not playing that when you are playing is only one that is going to be playing is that at the beginning of the project settings you haven't you haven't specified for the app to play all of the what all of the footage for you it's only that these two you can as well change it over and over depending on what you are working on if i am to edit only a single video right here you have to edit only a single video right here i know after i did after i finish editing this video i want to check if it's okay you know i, I don't need to start from the beginning of my edit I, I only want to start from the beginning of this particular edit so that is why it's good to set that to only a current that should be showing only a single current for you but in the most cases when you after finish your edit you want to preview everything you have to eat on this route then change this current layer this is your preview render mode change it to what all layer so when you are playing the video you see all of the video will play after the next one then the other one as well will play after the other play head has finished its own so this is how you can solve this problem of the issue of we having that issue of not having all our video play so this is how you can fix that hope you gain value out of this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe for more because i'm gonna be bringing more awesome tips on how to use this app because this app is an amazing app for what for content creator out there so, so leave me a comment about this if there's any issue you think i didn't touch so leave me a comment so then i will i will able to see if we can work together and solve the issue so so be sure to subscribe click the bell icon to stay notified every time i release a new awesome video just like this so i'll see you in the comment section stay blessed and be peace